City says another 130 migrants arrived in Denver overnight. That brings the total to about 800 since December 9th. They are part of a massive influx of migrants simply walking over the country's southern border seeking asylum. Right now, more than 350 migrants are staying in emergency shelters in Denver, 150 in partnering emergency shelters. By the way, the shelter space for migrants is currently at about 69% capacity. For years, Denver has struggled to deal with the overcrowded shelters and people living on the streets. Lord Jamie Leary talked to the city's Department of Housing Stability about Denver's ability to handle both the influx of these migrants and our current unhoused population. The city of Denver took the morning to tout some of its successes over the last several years tackling homelessness, and the state announced unprecedented amount of funding that will be coming down the pipeline to address homelessness and housing. This is going to be critical for Denver, which is currently overwhelmed with a brand new population of migrants also seeking shelter. Two of the bills that we all came together to be able to share, identifying what works. Since Denver's Department of Housing Stability was formed three years ago, it's found permanent housing for 5,000 households and plans to create hundreds more supportive housing units in the next few years. State and local partnerships have also helped expand critical data collection. So it allows us to really see in real time what we actually need to be planning for. For instance, data from one night last year in Denver's metro area showed there were nearly 7,000 homeless on the streets. That's the best data we've had for a long time. And thanks to additional funding from the American Rescue Act plan. We are at an unprecedented time right now where we do have funds to be able to offer. The state has $200 million to invest in the coming years to homelessness and housing. But it's unclear how Denver's new migrant population will fit into that picture. That's being worked out now between the, the different communities like Denver in particular and the state around what resources are available. But it's becoming unmanageable and clearly complicates Denver's efforts to resolve homelessness. Hundreds and hundreds of people arriving and that's more than we had <coughs> margins for in the homelessness uh, sheltering system. And so that is why we've had to set up additional shelter um, to help uh, with folks who are, are coming in. We've learned that there are close to 900 migrants that have arrived in Denver over the last several weeks and Thursday night, 130 more. In Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First.